The blow fill seal liquid packaging process is a series of sequential events all occurring inside a single machine. First, the machine forms the polymer container. Then the same machine fills the container with the sterile liquid, followed immediately by hermetically sealing of the container's opening. And this all happens within a matter of seconds. Details of the BFS process vary slightly by machine model and manufacturer but all BFS models perform the same general functions. Here's a look at how the BFS process works on a rotary BFS machine, specifically a bottle pack 460 made by Romalog. To start, pharmaceutical grade resin is transferred from a bulk storage container into a heated extruder within the BFS machine. The extruder provides a uniform oval sheet of hot resin known as the parison. Gravity continuously carries this parison down around the mandrel and to the molding area where it is formed and cooled by molds into the BFS container. Meanwhile, in the formulation suite, a jacketed mix tank holds the drug product at a cold temperature as it's fed into the BFS machine. If advanced aseptic methodologies are employed, sterilizing filters are used to sterilize the clean drug product at the point of fill into the BFS container. The BFS machine is equipped with an intermediate hold tank, also known as a buffer tank, for the liquid drug. The buffer tank provides a consistently pressurized system that allows for a high precision of drug product fill volume. The mandrel is the last stop for the drug product before it is transferred into the BFS container. There are several important things to know about the mandrel and the filling needles connected to it. First, the mandrel is surrounded by a sheet of hot resin that is waiting to be formed into a BFS container by the BFS mold. To protect the drug product from the heat of the soft resin, the mandrel is cooled with an active loop of cooling fluid. Second, the valves in the mandrel and filling needles are governed by a pressure time principle to ensure a controlled fill. Both the pressure in the buffer tank and valve timing in the mandrel and filling needles can be adjusted with a high degree of precision to ensure consistent dose fill size. This all comes together as the BFS mold closes around the resin and mandrel. The mold forms the liquid resin into the shape of the container. As the liquid resin touches the mold, it rapidly cools, turning the resin into its final solid form. The mandrel and filling needles then deliver the drug product into the BFS container. Depending on the fill size, container shape, and machine, up to 25 BFS containers may be filled simultaneously. As the process continues, the top half of the mold hermetically seals the BFS container, creating an integral, sterile pharmaceutical product. Lastly, the BFS molds open, allowing the filled and finished BFS container to leave the machine in a continuous strip and move on to the next phase of the manufacturing line. The process is then repeated in successive fashion to form a ribbon of container strips exiting the BFS machine. The entire BFS process typically takes anywhere from 3 to 16 seconds per strip, depending on the machine, fill size, and other variables.